Welcome back to Holmerkra for the Pioneer series, episode 13, with me, Mr. Sealy P. One thing I forgot to do then the last episode was actually put the grain into the storage. Um, I have fertilised the field again. I'm going to plough it. I haven't got a cultivator. I could go and buy a cultivator, but I've got the plough up here. And on this tractor, if I put it back to front, horsepower's not a problem. It won't take me a couple of minutes to do this. Um, and then I'll decide what it needs to do. But I do have a job I need to do moving on from this. And this is helping out a neighbour. And we can, everyone's on their videos all talking about the troubling times we're in. And, and we are in troubling times, you know. Scary times, things are difficult uh, for everyone. And it's really worrying. Um, and I think the thing, the message I'm getting, and we had yesterday, like every Thursday at 8pm, people are coming out in the streets and clapping the NHS workers, um, and I think as well, you know, all of the emergency services, the military, armed forces, all the guys, everyone that's stepping up. I mean, it's not just them, it's everyone. I mean, I, my, my daughter's school is closed and she's at home, college, sixth form college, whatever you want to call it. The school is closed and they're sending them work home to do, which they're doing, no problem at all, she's doing her work. Um, some of the teachers are going to school to stay, stay there for key worker children that are still going to school. Some of the teachers are at home and they're prepping and planning and, and sending the kids home stuff to do. Some teachers are even um, like making videos of themselves teaching and posting them up on their Google Classroom thing for the kids to still watch lessons, so to speak, which I think is incredible. What the school's also done is they've got three or four minibuses and they've got teachers on a rotor that are using those minibuses to help the local area, the NHS, uh, the hospital and all various different things, delivering supplies and... and that's incredible, uh, you know, things like that. So it isn't, you know, the emergency services, absolutely. The NHS, oh, you know, you just cannot get your head around what they're doing. Farmers, truck drivers, I mean, lorry drivers that are going up and down the country trying to keep everything flowing. Everyone that's stepping up, it's just, you know, absolutely amazing. Um, you know, doing what I do, I feel like a bit of a fraud. You know, I'm, you know if it helps in some way mentally, if you, your well-being, if you're watching videos and it's relaxing you and that kind of thing, then that's fantastic. You know, it's, it's in some way that's helping. Why is the trigger not come up? Oh, Ooh, panic then. There we go. In we go. Let's go into solo. So, I'm helping out a neighbour in this episode. Um, this is this is a, a job for Willie's Logging in Switzerland, um, and Willie's Logging has a contract uh, for, I think it's a trailer load, seventy nine thousand liters or a full trailer, so whatever the full trailer capacity is, um, of wood chips daily. Um, his griffin's gone down, needs repair, is having problems, so they've dropped off the trailer um, and asked, would I be able to help and fulfil the contract on a daily basis for them? So you know what, I think I can. That's something I can probably do. Oh, hang on, plough. Don't forget to do the job I was actually coming down to do. Um, so what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to buy that plot, the next one over, and rather than log that one, I think what I'll do this time is um, wood chip it. So the trailer is down at the store, down at the lumber yard, and um, I've leased... Uh, which one is it? The Gens... Oh, blimey, when we get down there, we'll have a look. It's the big one, the one that I've used quite a lot, and I like it. I think it works absolutely fantastically. So let's drop that down. So once I've got this ploughed out, let's say I could cultivate this. It doesn't need ploughing, but I don't have a cultivator at the moment. And as it seems daft going all the way down to the store to get a cultivator to bring it back. But I've got this here, and this will do the job. No problem at all. Now, oh, that was something as well. This is for the Black Knight. Um, because this is a, you know, this will go either way, um, this is also designed to be used on the front, so you can use other implements as well. Um, so you could technically plough and then um, plant behind you, you know, if you wanted to. I could do it all in one pass. Although, I could probably do the weight. That would probably be a bad idea. And I'm thinking now the horsepower might be a bit of an issue. Let's drop that down. So you notice now that's really struggling to get that to go. So you can put it up the front and put something behind it. Um, I, mean, I suppose because in your head 
technically the plough goes at the back you know that's kind of the mentality that you find yourself in so what I'll do if I swing this round now and do it the other way around but still on the front look at the difference that will go no problem at all now with the shanks the other way round it's barely even noticing it's on there so you could like I say you could technically you could plough and have a seed on the back and seed as you go if you wanted to um, or well, there's a myriad of ways these things work you know and that's the beauty of this you know I, just, I suppose like in my head I'm, I'm still doing this now thinking it's not right it should be on the back no it's not it doesn't matter but <laughs> it's funny how your mind works isn't it so anyway normal service will be resumed I'm going to carry on doing this um, and then I'll whiz down in the lorry and we'll pick up the trailer we'll get the wood chipper and I'll buy that plot of land and we'll get doing that I think First trip down to the store, and I've grabbed the wood chipper, it's the Gens BA725D. There is the other one, and there's the modded one uh, with the EPS cab side like crane and stuff on it as well. Um, I like this one a lot, because it's big, it's chunky, it's got a long conveyor, um, I've, just, I've just always found it a lot easier to get along with. Setup is quicker and easier, you just plonk it down, open up open up the pipe and bang away you go and you know I don't know just uh, for ease of use I guess um, I did think about the uh, there's the Griffin one as well at the moment but I suppose I could have used that couldn't I oh it doesn't matter it's all right. so this will go back up then um, we'll get this all set up I'll buy the plot of land and then we'll go and grab the trailer as well it's a bit of backwards and forwards, toing and throwing, but not so much of a problem. I shouldn't think this have a problem going up the hill either. I do like a lorry with a trailer hitch, it makes life so much easier. This is a heavy old bit of machinery behind, so... Okay, that didn't slow down too badly. It will slow down more on the second hill, but the fact I got up that still doing over 30 means I'll get up the other one even if it goes below 30 down to like 25 or something I don't think it will struggle too much will it? So, fingers crossed what are we going to slow down to? there we go 25 3 oh crikey that's gone down up there I thought it would 2019 <gasps> we're in the teens Oh no, back up, back up, keep going. Yeah, we're accelerating, nice. Okay, so the plot we're going to get... Now while I'm doing all this, I mean, I'm waiting for grass to grow, realistically, before I can get my animals. I mean, chickens aren't too bad, I can get chickens now, because I've got the feed for them. I could do them straight away, but for my sheep and my cows, cows I'm going to need bedding, which I've got now, but I'm going to need salt mix ration, or grass, or hay, or whatever to feed them. Sheep, I'm going to need grass or hay, so I need my, my fields to be ready to mow and sort out. Um, I am still seriously considering doing silage bales rather than silage, but I could do, it's not, you know. Now, I'm not going to put anything in the field for the moment, simply because I want to set this up. Actually, I could set this up the crossroads, couldn't I? If I set this up the crossroads, then I can bring the lorry in by the side of it. I'm just trying to think what's the best way around to doing this. Don't lose myself in the bog. Uh, if I put this down the other junction with the pipe sticking out this way then the lorry can come past kind of technically like that. That'll work, I think. Yeah, should be right. Right, go and get the trailer, and we'll get set up. I 
So, this is from Willie's Login. I assume this is the company colours. Oh, that was what I meant to say. <laughs> Didn't mention it, did I? Um, as far as fertilising goes, rather than going backwards and forwards, I've used it a few times before because I absolutely love it. Um, I've got the Agromash BM75 um, mulch harrow weeder thing which can give you fertilising states. So I bought that at the end of the last episode but didn't show it. Um, so that, that is a present. One of my neighbours popped over to give us a hand. Um, it was just cracking on with that. So one of my neighbours just appeared out the woodland one day. Anyway, right. Let's uh, knock that on the head there. So, oh, and just like that, poof, disappeared. Back into the woodland. I will name my helper Sasquatch from now on. Only appears every now and again. Is there a Swedish equivalent? I know it's like Bigfoot, Sasquatch, there's, you know, a lot of countries have tails, don't they, yetis and very different things. Is there a Swedish equivalent that, like, lives in the mountains, in the forest, or something like that? I don't know. I'm not, you know, I suppose I could look it up online, couldn't I? Why am I bringing this down here? I have no idea. Why is this bit not done its thing. That's weird. Turn it on, drop it down. I just like that bit for some reason. That's weird. Oh well. Worth its weight in gold, that thing. Um, it will only work, operate on a different ground state, so you do have to change the ground state each time, otherwise it won't work. If you fertilise with something else, then try and fertilise again with this, it won't work. Um, I've got it on mulch harrow, I think you can get it as a weeder or a mulch harrow, I bought it as the weeder option. Oh, you know what's just saying dawned on me? I need the, um, the header, don't I, for the, uh, the tree harvester. Right, let's move that out of the way. Might be able to get in. Maybe. Mm, could be tight, couldn't it? Potentially, right, let's move that out of the way. I'm thinking of upgrading the Deutz as well, you know. Um, because at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, I'm only using it for cutting out stumps to be honest with you and it was one of those tractors that you buy early on because it's cheap and you haven't got a lot of money and you get it and it does a job and it did the job perfectly but I'm thinking sometimes when I go to pick up implements and things they struggle to get up the hills anyway so something with a bit more oomph then this way this one then can replace it and do some of the more it's the wrong word but menial tasks they're not really because it's doing ploughing it's doing the cultivating it's not cultivating but seeding weeding fertilizing it's doing everything was that just a bit over the top just to get a bigger tractor is it really worth it i'm just thinking of getting a bigger deutz file you know i don't know just because i fancy getting a bigger deutz file no other reason than that probably completely unnecessary in it anyway this out as best I can. So what we do, extend that out, drop it down a bit and we can get under the shelter all right. So we're going from the front, I'm just thinking which way I put the header in, I don't want that thing spinning around at the back of the... back of the shed. the header. Oh, yeah, hang on. Find the metal work. We're out. Okay.
we'll be changing the cut length on that because it doesn't need to be on 11 meters for what I'm going to be doing oh next step buy the plot of land that would be a good idea wouldn't it so we've got all of these this one here oh 144 grand is that all I thought it was like 200 and something don't know why I had that in my head okay we'll buy that we'll make that back no problem at all so now we've got a few more options uh, right open this up next jump in uh, open up that open up the pipe pipe is adjustable I say pipe conveyor belt is adjustable I want it as high as I can uh, and then when we're ready, we'll start the engine, turn it on, and we'll be good to go. I'll bring the trailer up, and we'll just pop that underneath the belt. I want to say a, a huge thank you to everyone. When I did the, I did construction simulator three, a kind of first look video. But I'm a bit of a play around with it. <coughs> and every now and again, my my PS4 fan spools up. Not very often, just every now and again. As soon as I put construction simulator three on, my the fan on my PS4 goes insane every single time I put it on I load the game up, everything's fine I go into the game and the fan goes berserk so I took my Playstation apart yesterday, took the top cover off hoovered everything out because there was a lot of dust and stuff in there, still doing it and I don't know why I think potentially there's dust and muck built up on the heat sink, but the problem is to get to that you have to dismantle the entire thing got to take out the motherboards and all sorts of stuff and I really don't want to start mucking around doing that so uh yeah, not too what to shoot too sure what to do. I'm a bit panicked that it's on its way out, that the the fan or something is gone, but you know, that's not all I can do about it if it has, but I don't want to have to buy another PS4 and I have to make sure what I'm gonna do regularly is back everything up as often as I possibly can. Now, can I get under this side with the cover or should I turn round? You know what? I've got my fit fields ploughed, I might as well turn round. Not gonna damage any crops or anything. Okay, on the low side it also means I'm in the right direction for uh, driving back down the hill. I'm just concerned now about which way I'm going to get the harvester in. Um, probably drop that one under there. I must forget how high sided this is. Under the belt. that should be okay now what I often do when I'm on this as well if I jump in there see bottom right hand corner it says 3 miles now that's how fast it goes if I put the engine on I can drive forwards and backwards a little bit of turning here and there what I do is I knock down the cruise control down to zero weirdly <coughs> that's something I've done since law folds on FS17 and I don't know why but on that map every time I use this on law folds which which I think is being converted over to FS19, by the way. Um, it kept creeping. If I was doing anything, it would gradually creep forwards or backwards, going to where it used to go. And I found if I knocked the cruise control down to zero, technically it couldn't go anywhere. I didn't really have much problem with it after that, so I don't know what caused that. It was very peculiar. But anyway, right, so land is bought. That's ready to go. That's there. I think we're good. If I start... This side, maybe? I haven't really said left myself a lot of room, have I? Just try my best. That's all you can do. Now, what I am going to do, because from inside, there's nothing in here that tells me cut length or anything. So what we'll do is start the engine. would be a great idea. Open the header up. I open up my help menu, like so. And I'll change my cut length down to... Now I could go bigger, it depends, you know, on how comfortable you are with laying logs onto the belt. You can cut long logs and then you could load it up with a loader so you can speed up the entire process if you want to. I've generally gone down the route of using whatever I'm harvesting with, cut it one metre lengths and just drop them on one metre at a time. And I, I find that kind of works, you know. 
is it how it's done in the real world? Probably not, but it works for me. So, turn it on, start the engine, turn it on with the crushers going. Oh, not that one. That one. Um, we sh it shouldn't take too long to get 79,000 litres, in all honesty. So once I've done my load for today, to help out, um, I can then carry on just logging. I'll clear this area. There we go. Let's back this up to here. Swing that up. Make sure we're over the bell, which I think we are pretty much. Let's go. There we go, we are now wood chipping. Interesting to see from one tree how many we get. How many? How much? How many litres? How much wood chip? Yeah. It's not too bad. What's the guess? What do we reckon? How much have I got from one tree? 15,000? 20,000 litres? What do you reckon? Alright, 10,000. <laughs> Not quite as much as I thought. Okay, well. That's eight trees. That might have been a shortish one, and maybe it wasn't. I was being over optimistic. I can clear myself a little bit of an area to work. Can't make life a little bit easier, isn't it? <laughs> Trees all in the way. Everything? Can't really tell from me. Maybe. Is that going to be far enough? Might be. Oh, not quite. Try that. Go on, fall in. There we go. Hope that log's going to help me in there. Come on. Drop on. Ow. <laughs> Just use that one as a little... Bouncing boards, there we go, look at that, sorted. That's where now I've taken my off the ball, can't you see? They're all falling off the other end, aren't they? Probably. Oh, in my luck, there's a big pile on the floor now. Come on, keep working. I want to look. Ow! <laughs> nice. We'll just sling them in. We shouldn't be this close to the cut edge, you know. Nice. My concern now is because I've leased, I've leased this. Um, if I'm going to do a load every day, I have to keep releasing it. I oh, mind you, the money I'm going to make it, it will cover the cost. I'm just like I say, it's more about helping out a neighbour than it is making money on the wood chips. I'll make my money on the logs. It doesn't matter if it costs. If I send it back or if I just keep it on a long-term lease, um, it really doesn't matter, does it? As long as you're making the money to cover the leasing cost, it doesn't matter what you do, does it? Come on. That's better. A bit closer this time. I need to clear this tree here because it's getting right in my way, right in my line of vision.
I say, you can do longer cuts if you want to. Um, because you can always load from the side. Or if you bring this up at the right angle, you can load directly on. You can do full logs if you want to. I've always thought... I know I did this on... Oh, God, I'm trying to think now. Back on... Was it Sosnovka? I'm trying to think what map I did it on. It was initially using the um, the other... Um, one of these. There was a modded pack of these, wasn't there? It was the longer belts. Oh, that was the static ones, wasn't it? Um, yeah, if you cut them to length, the same length as this, maybe another metre longer, and have them in a pile, you can then use a loader or a telehandler or whatever you want. Pick them up in bundles of two and three and drop them in lengthways that way onto the belt and then it all feeds in in one go you know or front loader with a little log grab and just do one log at a time or you can do an entire log and feed it in from this end and push it all in so what i've always thought would be quite handy to have with this i know it's, it's ridiculous but like a roller pack so you kind of have this that when it unfolds it unfolds and then you have like a little roller thing that can come out and be put out here so when you put longer trees on, they're, they're supported further out. Because what you often find, if you put longer logs on, if there's too much weight, the tipping point being here, your centre of gravity's off, if there's too much weight that way, the log drops backwards, it lifts up, and then doesn't go into the feeder. So having something here that you can sit the log on, and off it goes. But, you know... It, it's just as easy cutting you cut, doing your cut lengths to one and off you go but if you're doing an operation where there's like a load of you doing it all together um you can have one person cutting stacking logs and the other person collecting them putting them in um you know however you want to go about it but all i know is i'm not on my 79,000 litres yet so want to make a bit of money on the, the next load of logs what I am going to do is, um, I think I'm going to get the uh, the T-Rex. I think. Yeah. Come on, Ken. BSM, sorry, Black Sheep Modding, put our video the other day um, <clears throat> on their Facebook page of the, you remember that, that fantastic wood chipper, the hook lift wood chipper, big wide flat platform, um, and they also had on FS17 that um, wood chip storage like depot, and you could actually put the wood chipper, went into like a, a platform at the front, so you could wood chip directly into the storage point. Um, that wood chipper, I think, is nearly finished, or have they submitted it yet? I can't remember now, but they've they put up a video of it being used. So the hook lift wood chipper is on its way again. That would be quite cool. That thing was a nice bit of kit. Now we're looking 41,000. Right, I'm going to carry on for a bit. Let's get this done. And um, I'll see you when we've got a few more wood chips in. And there we go. I think we've got a 79,000. There's a little bit stored in this because I put some in and the belt stopped, which means the trailer's full. This will hold uh, 5,000 litres, I think. So I might put it over to one side. What I am thinking of doing as well, when I do the next load um, of 79,000, I might grab the tractor and the smaller trailer. I might convert the little Massey trailer to an actual trailer rather than a flatbed then we'll go down to our original spot pick up all the little logs and all the bits and bobs and all the stuff that I left down there and we'll just sling it all through the wood chipper might as well, it's an easier way of getting rid of it than anything else, there we go 79,000 litres right up against that one. a 
would have helped if I'd have put this away again afterwards, wouldn't it? Next episode, chickens. We might as well get our chickens. I can feed them, so we might as well get going with some egg production. Right, down to the main store. This will go in through the lumber yard. The lumber yard will pay me. I think this is for, part of the deal with this was um, that um, Willie's Logging Switzerland has they've just got to fulfil the contract. Um, he doesn't mind if I make a bit of money on this. Um, I'll probably split it. So whatever money I make, I'll send off his way anyway. Um, but he just needs to fulfil the contract. So I'm helping him out to get the contract done. He doesn't mind if I get paid. But it's just, uh, you know, it's a win-win all round. So we're way too fast. So I'll see you down there in a minute. We'll see what we get for a full load. I'm curious. I have got the wood chip cell point up here, but this has got to go through the lumber yard. So... That's why we're heading down the hill, and then they will ship it wherever it needs to go from there. Righty ho, we are here. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's over the back, isn't it? That pile of wood chip in there has really thrown me off. Yes, yeah, over the back there. That's not too bad. 24,220. So we'll split that down the middle. What's that? 12,110. So we'll get that sent off. I'll pull the trade up to one side. And then that will be available whenever it's needed next. I think I'll back it up over here. Right, OK. Well, that's the wood chipping done. Um, that was what I was had kind of had my mind set on for the episode. I wanted to get the wood chipping done. Chipping in, doing our bit. Um, I think I'll go back up and I'll carry on clearing. I'm just thinking in my head now. What we could do is... Um, clear out that um, the section I'm on that goes up the hill and extend the um, the meadow the pasture out maybe plough a bit further out and plant grass all across the top of that so we can extend it out not that I don't necessarily need to I'm just thinking the, the better our grass production the better our grass and hay production the better the potential we've got for grass hay and silage production um yeah, why not? I think we'll do that. Right. Back up the hill. Just thinking, do I need to take, take anything back up with me? I'm whizzing back off. Uh don't think so. I'll remember when I get back up there. I should have picked up. Yeah, it's up the top there. Just yeah, thinking if we could extend it out further. This flat bit here, I said before, maybe we can stick another building, another shelter, a bit of barn space, maybe. I might just stick another one of these down, you know. I like the size of it, the design of it. Just stick another one next to it here, maybe. Um, yeah, there's a lot of potential. And what I will do now, though, is fold up the wood chipper, move that out of the way. And I can get on with a bit of regular forestry, so to speak. Uh, pipe in. Fold up the chipper itself turn the engine on we can't actually steer it we can go forwards and backwards so we'll just move that back out the way right so engine off Just 
bit of space, I'll hook this up. I'll move this out of the way for the time being. I think, like I say, we might keep on this as a long term lease, maybe. So I'll go and stick this under the shelter with all of our logging equipment. And then while I'm over here, we'll. Uh, what's up with this? We'll grab the mill loader as well, we'll get that taken back out because we don't need that. Job done, right. Doesn't matter what way I spin that in. And grab the mule loader. So at the moment this is on a long term lease as well. So we did say about um, buying one of these maybe. Okay, so I trundle over. Um, we have come to end this episode. This may be a slightly short one, and I know whenever I'm filming, I, I tend to say that and then find I've still done about 50 minutes of recording. I don't know how that happens, but um, it is Good Friday today. Uh, I've got stuff I'm going to be doing with the family uh, in so much as we're not going out or doing anything. Obviously, we can't go anywhere. Um, we're probably going to walk the dog, um, and then um, we're doing a load of jobs around the house. Um, I think a lot of people are in the same boat because people are, are kind of stuck indoors now. There's not a lot they can do. A lot of people are turning to DIY. And it's all those jobs you've been putting off for ages. You know, all the things you've thought, oh, I should do this, I should do that. And when you're, you know, working long hours or you're travelling to and from work, and, you, you know, work gets in the way, doesn't it, <laughs> of living. Um, and then people are suddenly finding, well, like, you know, if, even if I'm working from home, I've got a bit of spare time, I can do this job now, I'm right here, I can get on with it. And we're no different. Um, we're in the process of completely um, gutting and redoing our bedroom, myself and my wife, which we haven't touched in, I can't remember how many years we haven't done anything with it. So we're in the process of doing that. My daughters are in the process of um, completely gutting and redoing our back bedroom and our house. Um, it used to be my son's room, but my son moved out a little while ago. So my daughters have been using it as a kind of chill-out room, big TV in there. They can play computer games and just you know do whatever they want to do. So they're in the process of stripping wallpaper, and they're going to decorate it and do all sorts of stuff. And I've said to them, you know what? If that's what you want to do, get on with it. Go for it. Um, so we're, yeah, we're just doing kind of getting things done. And it being a bank holiday weekend this weekend... Um, we're all going to just sort of crack on. I've got wardrobes to build and all sorts of stuff. So, anyway, <laughs> you don't need to know all that. I just thought, trying to explain why the episode might be a little bit shorter than normal. Lights. Oh, now before I forget, let's just open up that menu and then we'll go back up to 11. There we go. Close that back down again. So, Job for a neighbour, a friend, help them out a little bit if I can, which I hope I have. Um, filled his ploughs, ready for next thing going in, uh, waiting on grass to grow. Chickens I think we'll sort out next, we can definitely get the chickens in. We'll clear this out, maybe get another barn built, maybe a bit of a rejig of machinery. Uh, then we'll be moving towards hopefully prepping for animals, more bales and that kind of thing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.